Bailey with Health, Beauty, and More, and I wanted to give you some tips on how to take care of your feet, uh, especially if you have pain, if you walk a lot, if you're on slab floors, you probably know what I mean. Uh, you maybe have pain in your feet that shoots up into your legs. Concrete is especially hard on uh, feet and legs. So people that are working or just on their feet a lot, taking walks, when you get back home is a good time to start looking at your feet and uh, doing something good for your body at the same time. And what I would suggest if you are at a sitting job is to have a box or something like there. I have to put the feet on. Let's see if we can get that. Prop the feet up and Raise them on a box while you're sitting, and if you don't, then ask your manager if it's okay, you know, to make sure your feet are elevated so that you're at, like, higher than a 90 degree. You want to have them elevated high enough to where you're not putting too much stress on your, um, your circulation. And then these... Um, Get, get yourself some water bottles like this, fill them, up, fill them up with water and put them in the freezer. One for each foot would be great. They're always handy to have like ice packs in anyway. But what you do is you put them down on the ground and you just roll your feet on these bottles. Now let's do this. Let's do, try this and try to get an angle so, so it shows up on the video. Let's see. And you can watch TV while you're doing this. You can do whatever. Just relax. Just sit in a comfortable chair. Find yourself a spot to massage the fascia and the heel and the arch of your foot. And work it uh, all the way up towards your toes. And I'll bet you that if you do this, you're going to find comfort for anyone with foot issues. This is very good. We have to take care of our feet. We need our feet. We need our legs. So anyone with foot issues, I would say go ahead and do this. Because the ice can only help. Ice is good for inflammation, and it's not a shocking feeling to your feet. You'll you'll like it. You won't need to wrap it or anything. I think your body will thank you for that. So give it a try. It's good for plantar fasciitis. Good for sore feet. Good for tired feet, good for sw swollen, swollen feet, swollen ankles too. It's even good for our, your legs as well. Good for bone spurs. See what you think. I think you're going to enjoy it and it's going to be an answer to ha not having to take medication for pain. If you do this for your feet, I think you're going to feel... It's not that necessary. And then you can always follow through with rubbing it with a peppermint essential oil. Or your favorite foot care cream or ointment. But something natural like the essential oil and peppermint is good. Uh, lavender is very calming. So give it a try. I think you'll like it. Take care. Nicole Lee. Health. Beauty and more. Have a happy, healthy day.